Very good. All right, coming up next, we have tips for dealing with grief and getting your financial house back in order after the loss of a loved one. Don't go away. Welcome back to AM Northwest. When a spouse dies, not only are you coping with overwhelming grief, but suddenly you have financial decisions to make that you're really maybe not prepared for. Here to share tips for regaining control after chaos. We're happy to welcome the author of Driving Solo, Susan Alpert. Nice to have you here. Delighted to be here. You know, this, you. Is a, this is a subject that, that I think, frankly, we don't talk about enough uh, because w whether you're a wife or a husband, whomever, uh, suddenly when your life partner is gone, your world changes on a number of levels. And, and the, the financial side is, is really just the beginning, but probably the most difficult to deal with. Would you agree? Yeah. It's because it's so overwhelming and complicated and so unexpected that no matter how well prepared you are, you're thrown for a loop. Uh, and, and this. I, I guess uh, this mountain of financial information, decisions that have to be made in, almost immediately in many cases, um, is, is this difficult for everybody uh, or, or women like you? You have a business background. Was it difficult for you as well? Amazingly difficult. I have been in business my whole life. That's my gear. Uh, when it came to my personal life, it was entirely different. I was in heavy grief, the loss of you know, my partner. It was as though my head and my body were separated. There was so much grief within me, and then I was expected to turn on and be this great businesswoman. It didn't work that way at all. Difficult. Well, let's talk about some of the tips that you have in the book. Uh, you, you, have, you have several. Let's talk about what you call turning, uh, converting chaos into control. You've got to get a handle on what's going on. Yeah, and the most elementary part is you've got to break the whole thing into simpler parts. But you can't do it right away. It's got to be done slowly. You've got to assess where you are, and you've got to give yourself permission to grieve because you just can't get out there and barrel through. You've got to feel it, get, get through it, and then turn on the brain, the robotic part. You've got to take care of yourself. This is a big mistake that so many people make. They get themselves overwhelmed and invariably sick. So you've got to take care of yourself. and. You have to ask for help. That's probably one of the most difficult things and, and for me. And what kind of help are we talking about? Help with the financial information, paperwork, or just everything? You know, it's so simple. You, you need somebody to set up some, help you set up some, go to Staples and get me this. Yeah, thanks for the dinner. I appreciate that. I need a ride here. Or do you have a referral for an accountant? Because some papers have to be filed. Or for a tax attorney, because they're invariably will be those things. You've got to put yourself out when you're your most vulnerable and you and, need help. And even something like this, it seems so highly personal and it's not something you'd normally share with people. You welcome that assistance. Yeah, you're just okay. very careful who you ask. Exactly right. Now, you, you also have tips for taking care of the paperwork because there's a lot of it. Yeah. The first thing I recommend so highly is to designate a spot for this project alone. Not on your bed, not in the dining room. Take this part that was your past life and work on it over here. When you go to your dining room table, you may think about your partner who's missing, but you're not going to be staring at the papers that say, got to sign this here, and then you see his old signature. Uh, and, and that's part of the organizational plan that you say you have to create. Yes. Uh, and, then, and then when do you know that you need professional help, whether it be legal or accounting? Well, you take a look at what you have, and then the papers start coming in. And I think the, that's pretty right up front. When you notify your family and your friends, it's a good idea also to notify your accountant and your attorney, and if you have any financial advisor or a bank, you need their help right away. Uh, and probably I would think for, for women or men, uh, if you have that kind of team in place, an accountant or an attorney you regularly consult, it might be a little bit easier. But if you, if you have none of that, you may need to suddenly find them, as you mentioned, right? Right. And what I did, and I found it worked so well for me, and I recommend it highly, is I found these individual people, and I introduced them to each other via email. I created my team. And I said, okay, this is my accountant, my attorney, my financial advisor. You're all working on my behalf. Will you work together? So the accountant doesn't call me and say, did you file this? And I'm saying, what is this? Yes. So they talk to each other, copy me on everything. So I was completely in the loop. As you look back now, 
are there things that women or men could do before they lose a spouse that couples can do to make sure that they make that process easier? Absolutely, and that is so vital to do something preemptively. The second part of my book is actually a manual of what you have to do, broken down into parts. You may not want to do it right now, and for some people they won't, but at least know what you're going to be faced with. Find out where papers are. You may not have to fill in the files and the policy numbers if you can, fabulous. Most people don't. Yeah. Well, but know it, where to look for it. The, the book is a manual and you, you, you get into tips about happiness and everything else. We, we don't have time to go into all of that, but we will let everyone know. Uh, driving solo available in all the usual places. Thank you for coming by today and sharing it with us. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, coming up next, your chance to win tickets to Victoria on the Black Ball Ferry. Do not go away. Thank you.